All right. Uh, it's Wednesday, September 15th, 2021, and we're going to start the Town of Sagamill Board of Selectmen meeting. I have 401. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. All right. <laughs> So I take it with me. <laughs> I was going to text Lorna and tell her to do it. I don't have any clocks anymore. So. <laughs> yeah. I get everything else out of the room. I just forget. To... Um, approval of the select board meeting minutes for 9-7-21. We also have B, special um, oh, yeah. emergency. Executive, yeah, emergency executive session. Meeting. Which, okay, so... Nine. Nine twenty one. Okay, with the correction of the, the town manager made, I will make a motion to approve both A and B. Sorry. Any further discussion? Uh, all in favor? Two on, and yeah, technically I don't vote on that. Right. Correct. Approval. I was not present. I would. I listened remotely, but I wasn't here. Um, Review of treasurer's warrants, payroll 77, 78, and accounts payable 79. Make a motion to approve A and B is read. Second. Any further discussion? None. We all vote. All in favor. Open session. We have a guest. Is that me? Okay. Yep. Uh, well, hello. Is this Dale? Yep. yep. Yes. Did you get a message from Bill Barney? I okay, did. good. All right. Actually, he's B. Right. He's well, actually oh, item. Five. Okay. okay. But yeah. So but we can do this now. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's the next item. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the reason I'm coming before you is that back in June, the PCDC applied for a grant with Connect Maine to do a broadband inventory and gap analysis for the entire Piscataquis County. It wasn't a very big grant; it was about sixty thousand. Connect Maine came up with thirty. Um, we were responsible for coming up with the other thirty match. The county put in twenty thousand dollars, roughly, uh, on the assumption that we would go out and ask the municipalities to come up with the other 10,000. And the way that number was arrived at was that they took 0.0061 or 0.61% of the first half of the ARPA funding that went to both the counties and the individual towns. And so they kept the same ratio and said, if we do that, then we'll get to the 30,000 to match. So essentially what I've been doing is um, we were able to firm up the county money before the grant proposal was due, um, but we weren't quite aware that we had to get a firm commitment for everybody. So I basically uh, uh, guaranteed the other 10,000 PCDC funds with the hope that I could go out afterwards, as I'm doing now, to the towns and ask them to um, kick in if they're willing. Um, and it's not, it's not a great deal of money, uh, but it is important because it shows regional consensus because this is really the first part of a, a process to get much greater funding to actually build out the, the broadband infrastructure, um, you know, in the county and in places like Sangerville. So, in short, that's what I'm here to do and request if you guys are willing to uh, support um, with $817.51 that project. Um, as I said, every community, and I've contacted all the big communities now, they're all very supportive. Um, it's just, there are a few that are, uh, Brian, you have the sheet. Yeah. Um, there's one township that's $17.39. Kingsbury. Yeah, oh. <laughs> so I have to track them down, but people like Dover Foxcroft have already paid, and they're 2600 and things like that. Um, but it, it's really to set us up to get much larger funding uh, down, down the road a bit. And um, believe me, I'm not a broadband expert, but I'm happy to entertain any questions you have. Um, I have access to our consultant, Brian Lippold of Casco Bay. And I think Dale also has a message that um, uh, Bill Varney from... Uh, we met Bill. Yeah. He? he was here. Yeah. yeah. Hmm? He has he a piece here. of equipment on our property, and he, oh, okay. we worked with him on that previously. Know, yeah. Know him well. Yeah. Yep. So he, he called me just not that long ago, actually. Um, and he started writing all kinds of details, blah, 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 blah. And I said, I go, how about we try this? And I said, and that way there it's not Dale trying to write everything down and relay this properly and getting it all messed up. Why don't you go ahead and just leave a voicemail on my phone and I won't oh. answer it. And then if it's okay with the board, I'll just play your message tonight. And that's you speaking to all of us, not you just speaking to me. 
So that's what he's done. So if you guys are okay with playing that, sure. sure. I'm hoping, because I didn't remember to charge my speaker, um, I'm hoping it's going to be loud enough. And if you were a problem, he left a message on my phone as well for some reason. Because <laughs> um, he thought it was you, he misdialed. And so I could probably play it for my Or phone. we could listen well, we to stereo. Have, yeah, we might have to go to stereo. I'll, I'll try mine first, but we'll see if it's loud enough. I just, it should be. Uh, try it. Hi, this is Bill Barney from Premium Church Broadband, and I just wanted to touch base with the board that uh, and let them know. I know you're having a broadband meeting today with uh, uh, John O'Shea, and uh, we do cover about 70 percent, I think, of Sangerville, maybe even a little more. But our plan is to come to you with a plan in the next probably month before the Connect Name grants come out in the fall. As we would like to finish Sangerville uh, and do all the uh, rest of the streets and the coverage uh, to not Dexter Road DM1 and around some of the lakes and the smaller uh, streets, Silver Mills Road, I believe, and off that. So I just wanted to know Premium Choice is, is doing this and have done it for a long time. We are doing most of Sangerville with high speed fiber, and we plan to do or put in for a project for the remaining part so that they'll have almost 100% coverage in the town. I look forward to speaking to you uh, probably at your next meeting, and thank you for allowing me to do this. Thanks. That was way easier to try to Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was smart, Dale. That was good. So um, just getting back to your, your um, um, presentation about the, the grant, when you said it's not a great deal of money, do you mean um, the grant that you're going for right now, or that it's not a great deal? What did you mean Actually, by that? both. The, I mean, the grant that we received right now is not a huge amount of money. It's a total of 50000 <coughs> as I said, 30000 match and 30000 Connect Main. The grants we would like to pursue, uh, using this as uh, the leverage we need, are going to be much bigger as additional funding comes down through particularly federal ARPA programs and things like that. And that's one of the uh, aspects of this of this uh, grant project, which is to get um, Casco Bay to identify where those sources of funding are and help us um, apply for them and win those grants. And so it's really to develop a strategy to actually get that additional infrastructure funding. So this first piece is very small. Uh, when I also said small, I meant the individual town shares are not huge. They're not mm. mind boggling. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, the county, again, has kicked in uh, two thirds of the total of the match. Um, so, and, but it's not for me to judge whether it's a lot of money or little money for a town. Um, and, but, but as you can see, some towns have a very modest um, uh, contribution ratio, and others have a much larger one. Um, so, uh, as I said, I'm not a broadband expert, but if you have broadband questions, I have Brian Lippold. I can give him a call. No, I'm, that part of it, I'm not. I'm okay. But my question for you, I guess, is the part of your project and the next round of grant money that you're going to be going after. Is that grant money you're going to be going after the same grants that Premium is going to be going after to finish the project within Sangerville? No. Or is that so. is he going down one road and you're going down right. another? Competitive yeah. or non-competitive. Right. Because the way I'm interpreting it, honestly, is by the what Premium is telling us, we're all set. Yeah, no. But, but if you're working on getting the grants going that he's going to be going after, then we have an interest in what you're trying to do. But... Right. Uh, basically, we're, we're essentially working together, I would say. Bill helped us with the proposal to connect Maine, and he's the one. He actually came and spoke to the Dover Foxcroft Council, and we had the same conversation with them about a couple months ago. And basically, this will help what he's doing as well in Sangerville, but it also, I'm sure, will be, not, including not just premium choice, but countywide, there'll be other vendors like Spectrum and things like that that will be engaged as well. So um, we don't have a particular proposal on the table yet, but what this does is it allows us uh, to go out and be specific about what we're asking for money for. And that's something that Bill is very supportive of. And um, so beyond that, if more specifics, I can certainly have Brian describe that to you. And I told him to stay on, on call, so I'm happy to... Happy to well, I was just confused if it's two separate projects, or do we need your project no. so no. that premium is still... Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Well, is it is it fair to say that 
Sangville looks like Sangville is going to have coverage if what Mr. Barney just shared with us is accurate. I'm sure that it is. But what you're doing might bring coverage to areas that he's not necessarily going to address. That's correct. And also, I think he's addressing specific issues within Sangerville, and we're going to address larger countywide county -wide. access that will help, will also add to uh, Sangerville's access. So um, I think he's much more focused, and we're much more general, but they both contribute to a, a more robust and a, and a better um, broadband system. So I would just an argument could be made that even though Sangerville, let's just hypothetically say we have 100% coverage through mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Vardy's company, it could still be an advantage to help promote coverage throughout the county, economically, education, all right. that. That means that yeah. might be the argument that somebody might use for that. That's what I'm trying to understand. Yeah. <laughs> is, is that another fair way to maybe describe it? It is. That's yeah. how okay. I would describe it. It's a little confusing because we're a little bit parallel to each other. But right. uh, Bill is fully supportive of this and it helps him do what he wants to do as well. Right. I just want to make sure that once, because we do record our meetings and people do listen to these meetings, I want to make sure that everybody understands that just because we are going to be closer to 100% coverage, yeah. this is still a benefit for our town yeah. to support what you guys are doing as well. Yeah, definitely. That's what I just want to make sure that if I'm understanding it correctly. It, it definitely will, and I can give you more specifics if you want me to call Brian. I think I don't yeah. have any more. Yeah, I, I Go have ahead. A question. Um, so this is you said for an inventory, and then you're going after the gap analysis. Yeah. yeah. Are you going? You're going after more grants. Is that going to require more funding from Sangerville? Uh, it's, it might, and it might require more county funding in terms of matches. If, for example, the Federal funding requires a local uh, match or grant, then uh, then that might be the case. Uh, but there are going to be different types of town funding, and certainly um, this doesn't commit Sangerville or the municipalities to anything. Uh, but it does uh, leverage the ability to get that additional money, and some of that might have a match. But it's your choice whether you wish to pursue, you know, those those infrastructure funding. Funds. The grant money—it's not grant money, but it's we 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 got some money, or about to get some money, and you were talking mm -hmm. to us about how specific its need or use could be. Mm -hmm. Would this sort of infrastructure be a place where we could maybe spend some of that money? Yes. Yeah. Oh. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was pretty narrowly focused. There. It was. Yeah. List of four, four or <laughs> five things. And... Yeah. Well, as you know, probably no. We we can't say yeah. Let's we, yeah, we sure. this would be part of the budget process, and course, we yeah. we may decide to put this on the warrant, and if we do, then that's how we would end up. That would be appreciated. And if you can yep. be posted, that would be great. Yep. And, uh, Hopefully, I won't be so much of a stranger to you guys now that we're uh, hopefully not going back into the COVID thing. Right, they, right. You know, hopefully. Don't we'll say that out loud, please. <laughs> no COVID. Yeah. Well, great. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, for thank, you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. Nice, nice to meet yeah, you all. Nice, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I think we might as well. We're on old business, so we'll jump right to C&W because we knew you were coming. So. Okay. We never finalized a plot contract, so I have copies of the contract, but I have copies of the, have a copy of the bid here. Do you want me to make you a copy, Chris? Because you haven't seen this in a while. Uh, sure. I don't really need a copy. No, I'm fine. Yeah, I think we're... Yeah, I, the biggest thing, honestly, and if I remember right, the reason why this was a conversation was the night Warren was here, he wasn't available. Um, we had questions regarding, you changed the verbiage on the fuel from what it was to, to a newer way. Well, and that's what we was trying to understand, and that was the whole reason why Warren was supposed to get more information or ask questions for us. I don't know if he did or if he didn't. Um, either way, we just nailed that. That's the only reason why it was didn't yeah. get done. As far as I remember. Yeah, in fact, we, I think, <coughs> I don't, I haven't revisited the conversation, but I, I felt like we all kind of, Warren kind of agreed with the way that we, we I feel like we all worked it out. And, and I thought it was pretty much done. It was right. just waiting for the two of you to talk it over and then come back. But I could be wrong on that. Either way, let's just knock it out. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, this is what was in... This is the new contract. This is what was in the, the verbiage is the same as the old contract. 
I don't know if that's exactly where we ended up. Uh, up with Warren, you mean? Yes. This is the verbiage in your previous contract. Yeah, that was something different back in the beginning, and that was... Yeah, the previous two contracts. Yeah, the last three-year contract and the one prior to that, I think? Mm -hmm. Right from the beginning. Right from the Dick Drummond? Oh, yeah. Oh. It was, it oh, that's worth a long time ago. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, I can re work the contract as long as we're all in agreement. Um, you haven't signed the last couple, but I, might, I mean, obviously I need a vote for the board saying... That's the portion that we were looking at. The fuel adjustment, correct? Yep. Yes. So for every month, the pump price, for every month that the pump price of diesel average for that month, substantiated by receipts submitted, exceeds five point. Ten cents a gallon. The town will reimburse the contractor for these extra fuel expenses at a flat rate of a dollar twenty per month. One hundred and twenty. I'm oh, sorry, one hundred and twenty. Thank you <laughs> for a ten cent increasement above the five. With the April payment of the year, the average pump price for the year averages. Hmm. No, father, don't want to even touch that one. Wait, what did, what did you say? The father doesn't even want to entertain that fuel clause. Doesn't even want it in there? No. That was why I wrote something different in the bid. And the bid says... Isn't this what was in the bid? No. No, this is what was... This no, is. I, I said my price was good for $4 fuel. Yeah, he says... So where did this come from? This, this came what from the... This came up with back in 06 or 07. They weren't worth... Price good for fuel costs up to four dollars. He wants to change. What's the current price of diesel? I have. Is it four bucks yet? That's got to be around three and a quarter. Uh, okay, I didn't know. Because I haven't bought any. It says it says four dollars right, right there, but it doesn't say doesn't say what we're going to do at that point. Is it the same thing we're doing? <laughs> that's the that's question. Yeah. Well, I you know, and I don't know. Maybe this. I, of your total contract, when you guys look at this, uh, if the, what percentage of the total con contract is fuel expense? Depends on the weather. No, but I mean on average. I mean you must have kind of a target number. Is it if you if, if the contract's a hundred thousand? I know it isn't. Is is twenty five percent of that fuel? Is twelve percent fuel? Is fifty fuel? What is that? What do you think about that works out to? Oh, let's see, it's been. It's been almost thirty percent in the past. Okay. So it's hard if, to tell. If you if we approach it that way and you basically you know, and we've got a baseline of four. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> what's uh thirty percent of the total contract is what is the contract? How, how much is it? I don't know that. Hold on, you should say right there in your page you It's hundred and forty nine seven seven, but it's one twenty nine seven seven is Plowing. There's um, hydrants and parking lots and sidewalks that add. Okay, it's still diesel. All of which take fuel. It's all yes. diesel. Yeah. All, so one forty nine seven. So if we just for simple terms, if we say fifty thousand dollars of the total contract is fuel, right. that's about his thirty percent number. Right. So then it's just a matter of uh, extrapolating a percentage increase on the fifty. Mm -hmm. is, is that a fair way to look at it? I think so. I think it's, I think it's cleaner. So if, if fuel goes up 10%, that's $5,000. Because 10% of 50000 is $5,000. Yeah. So if it went to four forty, the town would owe you another five. In that scenario, that example, I'm not, I'm not the contractor, but... So if we use a method like that, is that a... You don't have to keep slips. We, you know, if, that's the if, cleaner way. If it snows a lot, you may not wait, make out so well. If it doesn't snow... Because if, if it goes to $5, you're still going to get the money whether you plow or not. See what I'm saying? Because right. so we, I mean, we'd have to check it every month. On a monthly average. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So monthly. I think it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot easier and a lot less. 
And I, if, if you guys are comfortable with a 10% increment, that's fine. But if you want five, I mean, and I'm not really, the board I don't think is going to shrink from this because if we were plowing snow ourselves, we would have to pay for more fuel. I mean, that's, it's just. Right. The it, most I ever paid for fuel plowing was 425. That was the first year. Yep. And that's what it hit in like March. Mm -hmm. And that was lean, lean, lean season. I was scrapping cars to buy fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I kind of, I mean, to me, I like your thought process. If that's what you think it is, it's 30%, it's 50 grand. It's, do that right off that number. It's a lot easier than a variable loan. Yeah, and yeah, plus, yeah. plus you're, there's really no, if God forbid, uh, oil goes to $100 a barrel, and I recently read, I read an article today that, well, predict that that could happen. But if it does, it doesn't really matter how far it goes. You're going to keep getting that adjustment. Right. And if it doesn't adjust at all, then the town doesn't pay anything more, and that's fine too. Right. Right. And if it doesn't go over four dollars, we don't have to worry about it. it. Yep. And if it goes back down to two, then you make out like a band. You're better. <laughs> so, and that's we're all fine with that. Right. Yeah, you yeah. make out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so. If you're fine with that, okay, verbiage this for me so that I can put it in the computer. Well, and if, if maybe I don't, do you want to talk to your father about this before? And I mean, we he should be good with that because that's simple. Okay. Yeah. So I that, love simple math. I think yes. Yeah. At the end of every month, or whenever we pay him monthly, we'll be looking at whether diesel is over four dollars, and if it is over four dollars, by an increment of ten by ten percent increments. Okay. Okay. So if it's four forty, okay. he's going to get a ten a, a ten percent bonus for that month, on on a fifty thousand dollar figure. So it'd be five grand. Okay. Because we're we're assuming fuel costs at approximately thirty percent of the total contract. And the total contract's approximately one hundred fifty thousand dollars. So that it's that fifty thousand that you're going to track the fuel cost with, and you really only have to worry about it until you get to four forty. Right, because if it's below that, we have Anything haven't, below 440 isn't going to matter. Right. All right, I will be sending you the verbiage, and I will be sending Chris the verbiage just to make sure. Sure. And, uh, this is a lot better way than what the, yeah, uh, that's that, that other thing was. Oh, my gosh. Well, any fuel addition, you know, submit everything, but pay the next month, not on the April. Yeah. Well, I, I would keep it current. I mean, month to month, whatever. When she has to cut that check. Yeah, because that will be in the middle of the month. For it the will. Previous. Sure. It will. Yeah. So, so whatever date that check falls in, I would take that previous 30 days, look at that 30-day window of fuel cost, and that's how you'd make that adjustment. Right. So right. we stay current with you. So we don't actually get to the end and then have to cut you a very large sum of money right. if there was a bad winter. And you wouldn't have to worry about getting just, through. Just be a month behind on it. Right. Well, actually, yeah. it, it, what they, I think you're saying you're going to look backwards. Right. right. So yes. if if yes. if it's we four dollars right up until the last day, but then it goes to four forty, right. you're going to get it's going to go backwards. The opposite's also true. Right. When Bridie looks at it on payday, if it drops if it below, I mean, I, you you keep slicing this thing thinner and thinner. But yeah, I think going backwards is I think it's cleaner. Yeah. I don't know. So you're not going to track it per day? No. no. On payday. Just look at the last oh, wow. 30 days. Okay. If, it's, if you got a 10% increase, you owe them the money. Okay. Okay. I, mean, I don't know. So how. if it if it goes up there, yeah, okay. And But if it drops Same way, if it drops down that day. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, I mean, in theory, over the course of the winter, it's, uh, right. my guess is fuel's not going to drop. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, it, it don't usually do this and that. No, no, no. It's no, usually no. there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, up, 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 up. yeah, you're right. Or it goes up and it just flatlines, yeah. but it, it's not going to do a roller coaster. Right. I get it from Robinson, so sometimes it's at the top, sometimes it's bulk. Depends on where I'm Sure, but yeah. But uh, Jamie we, knows where it's at. Is time. there a source that, is there, do you want to use Robinson's price? That's... Is that you, a fair you, place? You pay, if you go to Robinson's and fill, fill your truck, which is, I, I you pay bump price. price. Yeah. Yep. I yep. mean, that's where... I might save three cents if the, I get it delivered. Right. Yep. It's not a lot, but it's convenient. Correct. Right. Well, right, and that way, we're not, when you're on that end, right. Right. nobody's right. tracking where you're getting it from. It doesn't really matter. Right. It's Robinson's price, and that's fair. Yep. I don't yep. have any argument with that. No. Okay. So you don't have to buy it there. So. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
one o'clock in the morning is the only place to get it. If you want to get it at the house. I mean, they get the yeah. pump. That's, it is yes. what it is. As long as the power is out. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Or well, somebody doesn't rip the hose off. Because <coughs> we've had to go to Gilpin to do that in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And the nozzle will be frozen up. Or it's, we've seen it all. So if you want to work out the details on that, in that way, but it sounds like we're we're good. We're good. Okay. Yeah. I just need to. Okay. Well, uh, I need to write the verbiage in, in mm -hmm. okay. section twelve. Anything more on the plug yeah. contract? No. While we've got you here, yes. have you talked to Mr. Lawson about the sand pile? Yeah. How are we looking? Uh, first part of October. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just seen him a couple of days ago. It's not like we're out. I just want to know what the schedule is. So. Yeah, he was going to finish up over in Heartland. And he was moving, going blowing through Kingsbury and back towards Abbott. Huh. And so then he'd be back in the area and he'd just pull pile that yeah. Good. Day. Well, the last talked it was mid to late September, so first of all, October doesn't surprise me. It's right around the corner. Yeah, exactly. A couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. As long as he, as far as, I mean, for us, as long as he's maintaining the decent sand and it's working, make sure Steve knows that we're probably going there next year. So if it's better to get us in the schedule earlier or just we knows that. I mean, I don't know what you guys thought, but from my experience, just from w driving the roads and the lack of dust, I, I thought it was a superior product than what it we. It was a lot easier to work with. Yeah. That's yeah. good. We had yeah. a bunch of old stuff mixed in in the beginning. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, got that through, but it still was caught enough with a cleaner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a lot cleaner. And I and you know the weather, the winter was different than the winter before. It was a light winter. But the but the roads definitely seemed to clean up mm -hmm. faster yeah. than before. Um, question. Yes. I heard rumor you guys got approval to sell the water. Yep, we did. Okay. So. But we have not done that yet. We haven't even put it in. If the loader no. goes. We need. Yep. You, put you get an increase. In, you get the loader price. Yep. Yep. The loader. yep. Correct. And then my question was, can I use the heated bay to keep my loader? Inside some staff. If I don't want to pay, we pay the fuel for the winter. The, the only fuel. cautionary note would be I don't know that that building is all right now. I, my personally, yeah, have at it, but I don't know that it's always going to be there. Uh, there's some talk about trying to sell that. Now, the town refused last time around, but I think if maybe we put together a better proposal, they might be open to it. But. Um, but that, we cross that bridge, I guess, when we get there. Right, you're going to have a little more of a track record of, okay, we've got nothing there. Yeah. Other than the sand pile. Yeah. Or, yeah, demonstrate we're deaf, we're not going to use it. You yeah. know, so. Right, right. Yep. Because somebody did say, somebody s suggested, why don't you drain all the pipes and turn off everything? And But I don't really think that's good for a building to no. freeze it. And even though there's no water necessarily, I mean. Uh, I can tell you one thing that I would like to see, and actually, it seems how you just reminded me, but I'm glad you brought all this up. Um, we have a diesel fuel tank up there an mm -hmm. with a pump. Um, if we don't have, if the loader's not going to be there, and the dozer's not going to be there. The town doesn't need that anymore. So it's one less thing that needs to be filled What's its up. value? I don't know if there is a value, but the value is, is we're not putting fuel in. Is no, it, I mean, does it have fuel in it? Do uh, we last I knew it did. Yeah, no. Depending on its value, what I'm getting at. Fire department fuels their trucks out of it. Oh, they do. Because oh, I know yeah. you can sell. And so, sure. I mean, that was a box me. I mean, okay. So yeah, is that something a, we could sell? Is that a five hundred gallon? Five or five fifty right. containment. Sure. Yeah, I mean, seven fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, probably a thousand with a pump. Yep. That would be fair. And but we need permission for five thousand. What do we yeah. need? Yeah, five thousand over. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So that would be like a small item up there that we could sell. Uh, yeah. One of many. And we should. Because yeah. it's just, just sitting the there rotting. <laughs> Chris said the fire department uses it. Well, this Robinson's is right beside it. I don't know why the fire department needs to use it. Well, Plus, a lot of, of fuel is fresher. And, uh, there's a lot of six to seven gallon fuel ups. <laughs> oh. If you look at the. Oh, is that right? Sign in log. Yeah, yeah I think we get out of fuel business. I would. Yeah. I think the fire department wouldn't even. Oh, doesn't <laughs> wouldn't really even, matter. Wouldn't even blanket it. No, right. I mean, they're just going to go to Robinson's and get it. Right. Right. Fire chief. They got the hot coffee there. To 
get to in the Robinsons. Right. I don't know. Yeah, all, all they need is a Irving's reward card that's linked to a, the town's right. account that the chief or somebody has. The slips still come through the same way. Right. It's just like they just have an Irving's card that yeah. can be used at Irving's. So, and if the pump's bad in Sangville, that would enable them. They could run to Guilford and get it. Mm -hmm. It's two miles away. Right. It's not. Then the slips all go through, and it's all computer generated. It's yeah. easier to track. You have a better record of it. Yep. And, then that and it's one. fresh fuel. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the other part. Well, mm -hmm. or fresher, I guess I should say. And, and there is no inconvenience because no. no. pulling air is yards much. apart. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, literally yards apart. Yeah. yeah. I can throw a rock three times and yeah. the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Now, is there any? Asking price figured out on the water yet? No. Yeah. We're going to bid them, but we're going to come up with minimums first so we save some time. Right. Um, but I think actually part of what we were waiting on was to put a bow on this contract. So we won't sell a loader until we knew we had a contract signed with loader included. So that's that's good. So you want to sign the one with the loader? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Good. You're going to provide your own loader. It's going to be, she's yep. going to write this up, the provisions okay. for the fuel with the loader. Yep. Okay. yep. And yeah, you'll know That's if you have an interest in a loader, you're, you're going to, we'll, we'll, you'll know about it because it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the dozer's going too. No, this figure is low. The loader is a little more. Right. Correct. That, that, that one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. You have that. Though. If you use your loader, it would have to be rewritten. It was two hundred dollars more uh, for the mileage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. I don't. Yeah, so. Yeah, it was a little bit more, but not. Yeah, it was much. It's. It's over here. That's based on 3550 a mile. You had for your load, loader would be 3750 a mile, 200. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Then if we can work something out on using the heated bay. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Yeah. I, you want to pay the, you want to, you want to. Pay the Cover the old yeah. coverage in? I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. And make sure the tank is full at the end of April. Yep. That's and if you want, we pay power bill uh -huh. or whatever it is. Power bill's not that much. It can't be enough to a month. Whatever. I mean, well, that's, that's what I was going to offer, and then the few counter. That's, I'm, if I'm you okay with that. I, I that's take actually, the fuel, it's fine. That's very good. Yeah. Okay. So you want me to refigure this now using this? Yep. Figure. And you're going to use your loader to put up the yeah. sand when Steve gets here. Yeah, and to load it up through the loader. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I will Whatever. refigure to that. Whatever I charged you last year for putting up sand per yard, so it'll be this year, just be it was, a uh, lot less. Less than a half. <laughs> it was a buck and a half, I believe. Yeah. How many yards was he bringing? 1,500 this year instead of 22. Two. It's going to be a big pile. Okay. We have 15 to what's that? It's going to be a big pile. Yeah. It's not as much as you think. Really? No? Why is that? Because it's right to that point. Of oh, okay, because uh, it looks tall. Yeah. Well, it looks like a lot, but in 20 minutes I can make it look a lot better. <laughs> you can flatten that baby out. But it should put us about the same as we were last year because I had brought in everything we cleaned up. Oh, okay. And yeah. what we carried over also. There was probably 200 yards left over last year before. Well, no. this will be cleaner pile. If uh, if we get to 50, start to get close to fifteen hundred, you're looking at it going. We need more. We can definitely. No, see fifteen it. should be good. okay. You'll know. You'll if it was a thousand, I'd be like, eh, she might be a little light, but no. We oh, we, we talked twelve hundred and said, oh, let's make it fifteen, and hopefully mm -hmm. that will yeah, be. That's, all right, you should be able to bring that in and I'll work my tail off. Okay. All right, Perfect. so I got to refigure this. Got to reverbage okay. that. So and then I have a question. I'll call you either Thursday or Friday. You a little girl like Hayden? Mm -hmm. 
I see her. Um, he's got to check up. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they, the newts start them young. <laughs> it's like the kids, too. Good. <laughs> I had her mowing. She was three months. <laughs> <laughs> I had car seat bungee cord right in the tractor. Uh, it's awesome. And the vibration makes you go sleep. She <laughs> outgrew her pinky and muffs and she broke them in half one day, so she got new black ones. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. So sweet. That's great. That is great. <laughs> Henry was helping me us yesterday. Yeah. Hucking the hay. Just as hard as he could. A little school. Yeah. She was she didn't ride me bail, it was too dusty. <laughs> but she was helping grandpa yesterday. <laughs> helped him work on the bail. I can't remember how young it was, but you guys, between you and George, you had Morgan out there driving tractors, tending for you, and she was very old. That's great. Yep. All right, Chris, thank you for yeah, oh, absolutely. ironing all this out. Yeah, I got 30 bales of hay on a truck ready to go somewhere. Whatever. <laughs> Somebody's ready for it. You looking at me? Maybe. Okay. It seems to be. <laughs> I was actually thinking of that when we got to put hay up, so... In the right now. Okay, I'll call you. If you don't want that, I might go up to my house and get some letter. All right, we'll talk. Okay, um, thanks, Chris. Item C, Code Enforcement Officer Search. No, we need to do BARPA money. Oh, I thought. Well, <laughs> all right. Go I, ahead. I've been signing up, and the sign up is requiring me to put in our bank account number and it's making me nervous, and I just wanted approval <laughs> to actually sign up. I've talked, um, MMA has approved the site. Lots of other towns have said we've used it, but... So this is for our refund? This is for our refund. Because they called me and said, you haven't signed up yet, and I said, well, we're trying to figure out what we're going to do with the money because the state <clears> has been very specific, and they said, Yes, but you don't have to decide now what to do with money to apply for it, and you ought to apply yeah. sure. now. But yeah. You know, yeah. When, they, when they start calling you and they start sending you emails, it just made me nervous. You just need to give the routing number and the account, account number. number. Yeah. 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 If you're that yeah. nervous, just create a new account number with $10 in it, and that's the account number you give them. And then they can't hack into your well, primary that's true. account. We could, we could open a small account. That I mean, and use it just for that purpose, for... Well, uh, I mean, outgoing, in my business, outgoing requires a verbal. I mean, we, you can send me all the emails you want, but yep. no money is going out unless I get a verbal be. confirmation. So I don't know what their policy is, but um, now incoming works differently well, yeah. because nobody is so concerned about <laughs> no. incoming. But. And even I know my, my Canada account is the same way. Money can, I transfer money in and out of my accounts all the time. Mm -hmm. That's exactly... I, they, I have to have a confirmation before I can take. Well, in fact, most of us, our and tax returns now transfer. come directly to your checking account. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Most, yeah. Yeah. most yeah. everything yeah. does. Yeah. It's, just, yeah. it's just the way, I mean, it, it doesn't come, the email doesn't come from the state of Maine. They um, contracted this out to a company in Tennessee. Oh. Um, and so when it first started popping up, it, it looked like it could be spam. Mm. And on this server, everybody's like, is this the correct one? Is this the oh. correct one? Is this the correct one? And I'm like, oh, okay, you make me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But MMA confirmed. Um, Mean Doctor sent us an email saying this is how the portal works. So it appears mm -hmm. legit. All, all I have to do is hit yes that we're we're interested. So okay, I will do. I will take care of that. Okay. Uh, now, C, Code Enforcement Officer Search. I received an email. I haven't spoken to him yet, but uh, apparently Al Tempesta is also interested in being our Code Enforcement Officer. My understanding is he's Dexter and Corinna's yep. Code Enforcement Officer. Yep. He's, uh, he used to go as far as Ben. He's yeah. been a fixture of Dexter for a very, very long time. Do you um, know him, Mike? <clears throat> yes, I do. Uh -huh. yep. I also I, uh, wouldn't mind a suggestion, which you guys are open to listening to it. Um, Always did. Lance was here and offered that he may potentially be interested. Um, we was at the, uh, Jody and I actually both attended the planning board meeting the other night. Um, and Lance, I thought for a new person at the planning board, the questions he was asking was, he was very in tune to what was going on. He asked a lot of good questions. Um, very well spoken. He was respectful, 
and I just, I really think Lance would be good for our community to be our CEO. Um, I actually did see Lance after um, that meeting at Robinson's, and we talked a little bit. I asked him what he what he found out so far, um, and he basically said the same thing that what I was seeing. If you just want to get into this type of thing, mm -hmm. it's a little bit more of a challenge to get the classes to do what you need to do. If you have an appointment, if you're appointed to the position, the whole basically the state opens up to you, and there's classes that you move to the top of, and there's more information available. And blah, blah, blah. So. I asked Lance how serious he was about this, and he, he clearly wants to do it. Um, and I asked him, or I told him, that I would be willing to bring it up to you guys to think about. Um, what If you all you agreed, what do you think about, we could appoint Lance as our future CEO today, or not today, but soon, um, with a contingency that he needs to complete and get his licensure in whatever time that doesn't mess us up on the other end, if he doesn't, and that way there, that would enable him to be able to get the training and the classes and things like that. So now, is that training then paid by us if if it's an appointed or it's from what I'm seeing, a lot oh, it's of it's free. free. A lot of it's free if he's appointed. Oh, because it's through our membership with MMA. No, it's just no, the, way it is. It's through the state. Oh, oh. Most of it's from the yeah. Oh, of course. It's, it's the state's normal. way of trying to, I I'm see. guessing it's the state's way to try to help the smaller towns make sure you get the training you need to do the Probably right job. that is exactly right. Oh, that, but they don't I want see. to be inundated with wannabes. Yeah, yeah. Correct. If you've right. got an appointment, you've got, you, mm. you've got past right. the first. Right. right, I see. There's a lot of hurdles if you don't have a point. Right. Uh, and if, I mean, even if there's a fee involved, uh, at least in my business, if you're looking for a designation or a, a different license, normally if you pass successfully, mm -hmm. they will reimburse you for mm -hmm. that expense. Mm -hmm. So even, let's say the, the plumbing had an expense, it, I would have, I would support it once he's passed it to reimburse him for that. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, now if he doesn't, it, maybe he, you know, it's, he decides he has the interest so then he'd lose out, but right. uh, the town wouldn't. Right. Um, but you, are you, how clear are you that he really wants to do this? I'm pretty confident he wants it, from what he told me. I hate to lose him on the planning board. I, I, as well, I mean, that is kind of a dilemma if he does that, but, but to me But he it's, could <clears throat> perhaps stay on the planning board, into, even if he were appointed, but not yet. Once you accept, oh, no. if it's incompatible, no. I but could not, you appoint him? Provided he gets... Appointed today, with a contingency that he needs to complete his class by X and with a start date right. of January 1st. Well, while he's taking classes, you're not paying him, right? No. Well, I mean, we would honestly, this is me. <laughs> I didn't get into this much detail with Lance. So well, I thinking, want to talk just, to us as a group. And right, right. Well, I should well, have had Lance here, is what I should have, honestly. We'd have to find out if, if first, and it's not hard. I've got, I have the, the manual at home. It's, but if it's an incompatible position, uh, the, the minute we appoint him, he's no longer on the okay. 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 Um. And if he needs to be appointed to get access to the training, there's no faux appointment. It's going to have to be a real appointment, is right. my right, right, suspicion. Right, right. Correct. So, yeah, right. But we'll check. The incompatibility is really easy to check. Yeah. So if it's not, if, if he can be both planning board and code enforcement, and I bet he can, uh, then it's not a decision. But right. I, I suspect that he can't be right. No, before I um, put him up for appointment on the planning board, I talked to him. I, I, I don't believe you can be both code enforcement and... I, if know, I had a better pizza, which, I bet you can't. But which, I, which do you want? And, you right. know, and, or how, would you like to be planning board now so that you can see if, mm. where, you're head, mm. where you're headed and what's, mm -hmm. what's what? And mm -hmm. So he just took the appointment while he was still figuring out if he wanted to. Mm. It's really up to him anyway. I, mean, if he, I just want to bring it up to the group, yeah. and if it's something that you guys think is an option, or if that's the better route for the town, really, I would think that maybe the next meeting we ought to have him in here. Mm -hmm. We all talk about yeah. it. Yeah. I think the other thing, uh, Al, Al is fully licensed. He, he's been doing many towns for a long, long time. Uh, I, I think it would make sense to communicate with Al 
exactly what we're if, if we go this direction mm -hmm. here's what we're doing and if it doesn't work out yes we are interested in you covering our sure. town so then we've got a backup yeah. uh, and, and probably he would appreciate that mm -hmm. hopefully uh, and then if it works out with Lance great and you never know maybe maybe you have a brand new CEO you may want to do something that way with somebody experienced to, as an advisor or try to figure out he something. Might, he might you know pick what a I role mean? like that. Yep. Yep. I don't know if he would or he wouldn't. I don't know, but I'm just trying to. But we've had several people that have an interest, mm -hmm. but then when they realize all that's involved in terms of licensing, I, I seems like the interest wanes a little bit. Yep. Uh, so having Al saying, I'm ready, is that's a little true. bit of that's a true. backup. Yeah, that, yes. is, that is a very good thing. Yeah, because so. January 1, doesn't <laughs> we matter. We need to be ready. Yeah, yeah. Right. forget the face. We need the license. I mean. Right, 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 right. Yep. George retiring. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you're plumbing and code enforcement. Right. Code enforcement gives you a, a year to get your certification. Plumbing, you have to have it before you can be appointed. Or, or before you can actually go out and inspect. <laughs> right. So we've got a quarter where if a person wasn't let get licensed, they could get licensed and we wouldn't miss a beat. That's kind of what we're talking about. Yeah. All right, well, I would say we need to vet him in terms of his genuine interest. And, and honestly, that's what I would really, I mean, bring him in. I mean, I know Lance, so it's easier for me to sit here and say this. Right. Um, but I think if he come in and if you guys yep. want to talk, ask him questions and... You know, I just, I really like the idea he's from our area. Mm -hmm. um, his now, his life now fits this job really perfectly um, because he, he isn't working at this time. Mm -hmm. So he could, he's a lot more open and things like that. So, all right. Okay. Um, anything more on that? Nope. Town planters. Okay. I mentioned these before. I know I've talked to, um, Kathy Melia, who um, just moved back to the area, she does some landscaping. Um, she's trying to get her foot in the door. She charges $20 an hour to, um, I want her to clean up the planters, make them, you know, weed them, get them looking better. She said she'd be happy to do that and put a, um, an estimate together for us, but she, looking at the planters, they're in pretty rough shape. I said, well, we're really looking to pull probably the public works one apart. Mm -hmm. She said she would like to take the plants out, separate them and keep them so that we don't have to buy more plants. She can just use them on our planter. But this one's a little rough too if you look at, at the blocks. And I don't know who to get to. Any, con any contractor. I mean, thankful. Yeah, it's just everybody's. It's, everybody's chasing weather, and right. I mean, yeah. I got a building I would put up if I could find someone to do it. So, so well, I guess what I'm going to tell you it's not going to cost, it wouldn't cost a lot for plants. Mm -hmm. um, she'll get the planters ready for winter. She just didn't know if we wanted to fix the planters before she got working in them so that she could. If you can find somebody to do it, I think that would be great. Yeah, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. like I just that. wouldn't, personally, I don't, I'm not really interested in spending a whole lot of money fixing planters. No, but they look yucky at the moment. I was thinking. Yeah, the, the, sticks and perennials in there that don't require much maintenance. And all of this stuff kind of goes back to this town office, this location. Mm -hmm. And you pour more, you know. Uh, yeah. And yeah. so that it, this is a reminder that we need to continue moving right, the ball. Yeah. So oh, maybe I, mean, I don't need to spend time looking for a contractor. I just need to let her clean up the. Yeah, the best she can. Yeah. <laughs> I put a new planner at the new location, wherever that ends up being. There you go. Do it in a way so it ain't as so much maintenance. Time. Correct. Maybe a one and done. Yeah. If you okay. back over that planner at the public works, <laughs> I won't have to remove it. <laughs> I bet it'd be a lot easier to plow that parking lot with that planner when it's in the middle of the parking lot. You don't want it to take parts out of that one, you put it in this one. Right. You probably could, yeah. You could probably could make one good one out of the two bad ones. Right. Because that one's got stove up. A little bit over the years. <laughs> this one's got a little bit over the years. Yeah. Going on 23, separating some. I mean, oh they all gosh. need to, they all really need to just get torn down and restacked re and redone. It's not really dollar there, but it's going to take a lot of work, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of time and effort. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know that I can get anybody. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
General Assistance Ordinance hearing. Okay, I was going to schedule a hearing for tonight, but they haven't come through with the new maximums. And while I was um, going over what you it's need coming. for a hearing, you have to um, you have to publish it in the paper. Mm -hmm. So I so I need another meeting either next week or the week after to get this done before October. That's assuming that we have the maximums. Um, if we don't, we did it in October last year. It does not really... We don't get dinged or anything. We don't get dinged. Um, Our next meeting is October right now. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I think we... So it's not September 29th. No. I haven't, no, I haven't scared it. Says. I, haven't, I, I put it on there in oh. case anybody's looking at the... I see. Thing. Okay. Um, but I haven't put it on the calendar, so nobody would... Okay. Okay. Property maintenance ordinance. Well, I sent you the link to Guilford. Um, I sent you a link to Madison. Um, Madison's is very... Short. I don't know if any of you looked at it. It's basically a list of things that are a nuisance in one paragraph, and in the next paragraph, it tells how the uh, code enforcement officer is going to take care of, mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. um, it's, I mean, the first one, the first paragraph specific what constitutes a nuisance, um, and, it, and it doesn't seem to be things that would get people up in arms about, um, yeah, well, the fence needs. Right. cleaning this bar or you know they won't get too too particular and again um, so we just need to pick a time to sit down and, and look and see what we want uh, I wouldn't be afraid to send either one to the town attorney and get his recommendation because okay. if we don't get a stamp on something well, like I, I get complaints almost daily now for a specific property. Is it, is it the same thing over and over though? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's I was about not. 23 today and one of the properties was burning trash. Yeah, I oh, saw yeah. that. Yeah. And you could literally burn, you could smell it two miles away. Yeah, so, yeah. We just need I to take care of that today. It's almost like, I don't know, it almost seems deliberate. It's, it's like pushing, <laughs> pushing, pushing. It's yeah. really out there. <laughs> Be. But we don't have an ordinance, so. Right. <laughs> well, uh, we, we, we we just repealed it. No. Because at, our, it. at our annual meeting. It had no enforcement mechanism. Okay. There wasn't anything we could do with it. That's why we need to Sorry. find Repeal one. To right. Settle. Yep. Right. Find one that the attorney will say, yes, you can find. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ours was too vague. Okay. I was fine with that. <laughs> yeah, well, I, mean, I think that's. Uh, you're probably not alone, uh, and that may be the obstacle with the new one. Uh, well, a lot of uh, property maintenance, they um, accept farms and other businesses that have... Within reason. Yeah. I have some reason it needs to <laughs> not be there. Yeah. Item 6, new business, fire department officers. Um, oh boy. Yeah. yeah, Ted called me Monday. We had a meeting. I'm just going to unplug this so that we don't fry it. I have a raincoat in my truck and I didn't bring it in. There are umbrellas, Rainy smart. There are umbrellas in the town office. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm not. Just, <laughs> just realizing <laughs> how poorly I'm thinking. I didn't realize we're supposed to get the one inch hail thing. Are they I gotta get my car in the garage. Can we? Can we? <laughs> yes, I have to. We have stuff to do. That's just a Subaru. It looked good all banged up. I have horses at wraps. So I spoke with Chad. He is not going to run again for chief. So he's done as of January? Yes. He's going to complete his term? Yes. Huh. But that's it. He's taken a new position and there's a feeling he can give the time it requires to be chief. Um, he's, their you, plan is to put Jeff 
I was just going to, you got oh. away, oh. you just got ahead of me. I was going to ask you a question. <laughs> uh, are, do you think they're under the impression that they can just now pick somebody and that will be the chief? Do you, is that? They've got a plan. That, so that is fair to say, they do think that. Okay. Um, so the plan is interesting. Um, Jeff is chief. Jeff is Libby. No. No, Jeff. Uh, I was going to say. No, no. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Willie. Willie. The old chief. Yeah. But then two years ago, Jerry would be the same assistant chief or which whoever. Who got done a year ago. Was, yeah. He'll stay in the same position that he's in now. Um, they want to move uh, Chris Rowell up. They want to give Matt. Um, Mm -hmm. Lockler a uh, position and Travis Labrie and Chad would round up the officers for what, what he was proposing. Hmm. Well, it's probably something we should visit on. Oh, yes. Some, yeah, because we've got up just a few months. Okay. Maybe maybe we'll need a workshop on that. Mm. Soon. Yeah, like in October. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll we'll let's kind of okay. brainstorm it. Yep. But I, I'm personally just kind of because I'm just learning about this. I'm just thinking about going backwards. Is not that exciting. No, he came, he came to me Monday. He texted me and said, "Can we meet?" And I said, "That sounds ominous. What's up?" He said, "Oh, it's not that ominous." I'm like, it's too bad he seemed really I know. into it. I know. Well, that's kind of my thought. Is yeah. I mean, he's. We all know that you know from where we were, the paperwork wasn't being mm. done properly. There's a lot of things that wasn't being done properly. Yeah, I mean, a lot of things. And he was very <laughs> doing very well at getting us in the Straight right back. direction. Yep. Well, he was. He acknowledged it. Yes. He agreed that what was going on wasn't the way it should be, and he was going to fix it. And the we all. Communication would think, be were, better. Yep. And we were working together. I don't really want to go back. Or I don't want to go back to where we was. Right. That's my concern. Well, I think that's that's Valid. on the record. I, and I totally agree with you. Yeah. That's my yeah. That's my feeling as well. Okay. Um, Road Commissioner's report. Okay. The patch has finally um, been applied to Golf Road, Silver's Mills, and um, Flanders Hill when they ran out. They're going to work in another day if we feel we have enough potholes to um, merit. I think down by if they get down by Bob Brown done that bad spot, those two down through there. Oh well, I haven't been down. They yeah. told me they did. Fill the holes. Yeah. I think they did. I haven't honestly. Yeah. I rode the bike through there, and I, it okay. seems to me uh, you, most of your road was done. Okay. And and Flanders Hill was done. Um, Shaq called about the Bob's driveway still there. Yeah. Yeah. That's something that's getting dug up this year. I, I haven't talked about it. Yet. And we didn't, I know we're paving over there soon, but we did, we right. left a couple of holes that we should have filled because they're so bad, even okay. waiting for paving is. Yeah, right. because you're reclaiming. <laughs> it does need some yeah. And we got, well, again, they're going to be paid, but I the very that. last culvert at Lime Road. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm guessing compaction was wanting because it's not gravel all over the place. It just okay. and you got. I mean, it's you could blow a tire on that. And that's the other thing. I my concern. I've actually I called Zach already once, but um, with the work we're doing on Silver Mills, there needs to be some signs put up. Um, I appreciate that he is putting a little extra gravel over the top. But with the volume of rain and things that we've had, um, there was a couple mornings. Those those were pretty rough. Um, if you were to come down through on a motorcycle, I don't know, you know, no, no morning or all of us that travel the road every day. You know, it's I don't need a sign. My vehicle automatically knows where to slow down. <laughs> but the only reason that through. last culvert is we're getting away with it is it's right at the 90 degree, so yeah. everybody's Basically. pretty much on the brakes before right. they get to it. Yeah. But uh, that one's bad. Yeah. So it needs a lot of fill. It needs some fill. Okay. Like Chris is right. It's like. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's a culvert that's already replaced, correct? 
Yeah, it's a it's brand a new color. color. It's right. just, I, you know, it's like I said, not... compaction was probably lacking because it's not, there's not like this gravel all over the road. It didn't get washed. It's, oh, okay. it's just yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. Um, and speaking, uh, so the driveway culvert that was inadvertently removed, is that going back? It can if you want it to. Yeah, I thought we said that. Yeah, but uh, we took it out by mistake. So uh, it, it, we, must, we must have needed it or we wouldn't have had it. Perhaps. But my concern, again, I rode this road, so I was actually right able to look at it. I get people coming in telling me all sorts of things. I don't know how to sift fact from fantasy. I was told that the driveway culvert was put in originally because the culvert going across the road had been blocked. The cul that road is always ditched down through there. There, was, there has never not gone down through yep. there. I looked at the new, I call it a drain, because it looks it's more like a drain. Thing. Okay, it's a, it, And it's already started to pull, cool. it's so steep. And I, I, I could, I, it may not happen, but I wouldn't be surprised if when the spring runoff comes, mm -hmm. we end up hurt, just damaging his driveway. Because it's a 90 okay. degree now. So that water we'll that wasn't, we'll put the in you're now. just going to bang right into his. What happens driveway? on the top side of that driveway now? What, what, what was done? I saw the bottom. I didn't look at the other side. What's on the other side of that driveway now? What on Diane's side? No, no, no. Oh, no, no, nothing. There's no culvert at all. He's just, they just feathered the gravel out. And right, but they made this cistern. And yes. With but what's on the other side of the, of the driveway? Uh, just gravel. It's not even riprap. Yeah, it just took culvert off the gravel. Oh, oh. In fact, he was starting, it, not that this would affect us. Right. Well, actually, to, to some degree, because if you did a new driveway color correctly, you would have riprap. Mm -hmm. His driveway is already starting to melt off to the low side because it runs down his driveway and there's no okay. riprap. But my real concern is when this, this is mm. more of a springtime event over mm -hmm. there. Uh, we've now gone to just a 90 degree. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a whirlpool. Be and we're going to slam it right into his driveway. Now, and, and Diane is going to, it's going to, that, that new culvert sticks out over, it's going to come out of there like a shoe. I'm more worried that that culvert is not going to handle the water that's going to come down through there when you put a roadblock in front of it. That water's yeah. going to come right okay. over the road. I, if, if you force me to pick one, I would have done away with the crossbow and just go with a straight shot under his driveway. Like always At least you're not bending the water. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But uh, I never would have gone with one and and, the other and put a out. 90 in there, because that's what we did. Right. Well, okay. we reduced the, 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 the culvert, yeah. and not in a good way. No. But we basically, the total volume of that ditch now is cut significantly, and, mm -hmm. and it only can go 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is never good. Mm-hmm. Water going And I, I, it looked, I got off, I didn't. It looked to me like it was already starting to collect in that basin because it's just too steep. So, anyway. I'll go back after the meeting. Um, oh, so wait, Anderson Road Anderson, okay. and the dam. <laughs> All right, so Anderson Road. I've been talking with Herrick. They're willing to put those covers down. They gave you a price of $3,000. They didn't know if you might want them to put together a quote for a hemlock bridge. Would have to be very quick because you got to get this done by October 2nd. So actually I'm glad Chris is here because obviously he's, he's on that road yes. as much as I am. <laughs> Um, and it's his property that we'll be talking about. So the, the thought process is... Yeah, this, well, it's not going to be because we're going to lower them culverts. Okay. Um, and get it back to Brook. That's the thought. Okay. So I called Zach because I was just curious. I'm not a fan of, and I actually I mentioned this last and I wanted Zach's opinion. Um, I'm not a fan of putting two culverts side by side, period. I just don't understand how anybody's ever going to guarantee me you're not getting water in between. Mm. Um, <laughs> you can, but you got to be perfect. Put in properly, and DEP Lake Swan 
Oh, yep. So we want to Oh, sure. Oh, sure. So it's a volume. Yeah. You correct. Can fish way through one pipe versus ah, correct. So I got on the east road, I put three in, and I put one way down, put one, one six inches up, put the next one six, six inches, inches up. up. And these are good ones. And so what I asked that and is opinion. And the bridge out. If we could, because when we're done, there's not going to be a flowage here. I mean, Right, there's, right. There's it's no, be the only water we have is because the beaver got the culvert plug. Right. Whenever that gets unplugged, if you only unplug one culvert, it's gone within 16, 18 hours. It all flows through. You don't even have to ever unplug both culverts. Uh -huh. Because I have never measured them. Them are got to be three footers. They're big. Yeah. Wow. So my question was for Zach was, is it does he, does he think that when we do this, can we just put one culvert in that hole? Because when you're done, you're going to have a brook this mm -hmm. water. Right. So, like he told me, he says, he goes, well, we're, for what we're doing, he says, I don't know. He, can't, he didn't want to commit to a yes or a no, because mm -hmm. he's not sure exactly what that end result is going to look like when we're done. Um, but, like I explained to him the same thing as far as the when we unplug the culvert and you drink, or the, that all drains out, it's not that, even then, it's not that large of a volume of water going through there. Right. So once we're done, it's not going to be a very large, ever going to be much water. Going so he said the three thousand dollar number. If we did want to try one color instead of the two, would save a fair amount of. It would save him on labor and material to just set the one instead of trying to do what to do the two. So. Are you going to replace them or just reset them? If they're decent, just re reset them. But reset, just reset one. one and leave the other one where it is. The only thing is, it's more for the, the problem is, is, is the beaver problem. If they plug that aisle, it's not an issue. Right, but if they plug it, which is what we're trying to get away from, it's going to be more... But it's still there if the beaver can spring cut it. That's... trying to think. There's a lot of water that can collect a long ways when it's in the bay. Because, correct, when it's plugged. Well, just acreage that yep. flows into that ball. Yep. It's Dale had met somebody that was kind of grew up over there. You did too, I guess. And they they told you it was just a little. Yeah, I don't know. It was somebody on the veteran. I don't know where. Who was it? I don't know. She's walking their dog. Yeah. But I know. I know she was on that road. Right. Um, clearly, it was an older lady, and she said how she'd walked there for since she was a kid. And uh, she said that, that all that used to be was just broke. Yeah. That back when it was a small, same scenario, it was a smaller culvert, it was down yeah. lower, and it was, there was never a bottom. But that was all just right. broke. Right. Just, right. And once you raise the culvert, you create a dam. Right. Right. Because I think I've got 17 or 18 acres of underwater. Oh. Yeah, I guess you got more than that right now. Yeah, right now, <laughs> right now she's up there. It's again. almost for the gravel road again. Yep. And you can kind of tell that it historically wasn't because there's a lot there's of dead timber. Yeah. I mean, well, so they have to it, get further up. Yeah. You can say, uh, there's pine trees. Yeah, underwater are. now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, right. When, like right now, tomorrow morning, that would be quite hot. No, because right now, I mean, them culverts plug us all. There ain't nothing. Whatever comes down, staying in the ball. It's not going in the ball. Wow. Chris, I would... Uh, I have seen it flowing pretty heavy, but... It's going to get that heavy rains early in the spring and a lot of snow melt. The, uh... The, there's a big culvert or a small bridge on the line road. It's marked with yellow warning signs. Do you know if it's a bridge or a culvert? It's pretty wide. Down below Josh Tracy's. It's it's on the yeah. It's on the gravel portion of the road. Yeah, it's on the right after the mud. Out of the section is needs to be fixed. Yep. That is a steel box culvert. Okay. Whether it's I think it's an arch. I was I never really I was on a bicycle again. And <laughs> I was just, this, there's a lot of water going through. That's a big stream. There's a big ball behind it. Okay. 
Uh, these are between the do uh, Dover, well, yeah, that road. Yeah, you know where the, the real muddy share. section is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just after the muddy section oh, okay. before you start up the hill. Yep. Oh, yep. okay. You've got water just... Oh, yeah. I see. That's what goes through. Oh, see, see yeah. what's... Yeah. There's a lot behind that. Right now, that's what we're talking about on the instrument. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. It actually starts at Irvings. Yeah. Comes down that whole wetland runs up on it. Wow. It's <clears throat> starts up by my house. Yeah. No. That runs around. Yeah, it starts at Earth, just comes down through. But I, I really I really think once we once we can get them down and we get that to what it's supposed to be and I just don't really think you're gonna and I know what you're saying, in the spring you're gonna have a lot of flow, but, but in it's the, already low, you're, you're gonna, gonna be reservoir. Correct. Yeah. It's not like you're gonna you know, you're going to have a lot of footprint. An inch of rain is going to be able to go in such a large area of body. It's not like you're going to be trying to keep stuff at all through that. Right, you know right. I mean? It's not hard to pull. Correct. Then yeah, yeah. Right. I, I don't know. I would be very surprised if one culvert would be in there, but it is a gamble. I mean, it's going to be because nobody knows. You're not going to know until after you do it. Right. So. In the last 10 people, you're going to do 10 Yes. Yep. Oh, you're going to get 16 answers. Yeah, <laughs> but I guess I need to know what to tell Zach because you get two weeks to get it done. And say if you take one out, put it up to a town garage, you might save. Yeah. Not <laughs> scrap. That's it's a couple thousand dollars to set it, and if, if it's a screw up, it's going to cost us three thousand. Mm -hmm. That's how. You, honestly, that's that's what it's going to cost. If it doesn't work, he's got to go back and reset it. It's three thousand dollars. Yep. So. Uh, Dan, do you want um, one or two? One or two, and then I'll... One or two? Oh, oh. culverts. Oh. <laughs> I like Chris's stacking idea. I do, too. I mean, it makes a lot of sense to me. And I've never heard of that before. That's how they are. I mean, that's how they are now. Yeah, it's just they're not high enough. They're not oh. low enough. we got to get it down. That's the problem. 18 inches. Both come up. Uh-huh. The problem, the only problem is, there's nothing wrong with doing it, but when you do it, it's an added cost. Right, right. And it's that much more people to see Right. And it does change the geometry, you know what I mean, as far as frost movement, because it is yeah, a yeah, so yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, have yeah, all that yeah. it's not frost consistent. around it to hold the other culvert down. Oh, God. And we don't know that either one of those is useful. He may dig that out and find out the trash. That would, yeah. be bad, that would be bad because I don't have any colors that does. They have a crush right now with that much cover on them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you might, might be able there. to tell from looking in them, too. Yeah, oh, so you got to remember, those aren't colors. Those are boilers. Those are boilers. I mean, they're three eighths, half inch thick steel plate. Yeah. So, I don't, I can't imagine that. If that was a plastic color, that much cover, they'd be junk. Yeah. Because they'd be. Yeah, there isn't very much dirt on the top. So if you go with a, even a steel culvert or a plastic, you could get them maybe down a couple of feet to get enough cover on them to maintain the same road height. Right. If not, you don't. Yeah, yeah. You don't on that diameter. Right. Yeah. I, I, I don't matter. Yeah. 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 I don't know enough to care. I, I want to do it right. But. but. Colin Engineer. Oh, no, you know, I just called the DEP and they said, go ahead. Yeah. They said, do it. Yeah. yeah. And if, particularly if you can save, if they're salvageable, and like you said, you keep it up. If you, later you decide you need to add another one, we've got it. Right. I, personally, I would just see to do one, just because it's less cost and it's less maintenance later. If it doesn't work, it's a $3,000 each. That's how I see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you, whatever you guys, if you don't like that idea and just want to reset two, we will. I would, I, I really would leave it to, to the contractor. If yeah. he sees a benefit, I, I'd like him to have that latitude. If he doesn't, right. I'd, I'd go no with that. Kind of I just repeated the benefit. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, he said, leave it up to us. That's what, you know, <laughs> what do you want? That's what he told me. Yep. So he has the latitude, as far as I'm concerned, to do whichever. Yep. He, once he digs into it. Yep. So. Okay, Dan, I'm cornered Brian Howard. 
Thank you. The president, a quote, and said, yeah, I did, 200. And I said, well, could you give me a, a, some paper with that broken down on it? And he promised me he would, and I've called him twice, and I haven't seen it. However, we're not, now the water is running over the dam. We're back to full. We definitely are now. Over the, art, the, the increased dam. Oh, it's going over the top of the dam. Corner. Yeah. That's why I am very confused when property owners on that pond are saying the pond is low because it's it is. not possible. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It is, it is at spring height right now. Mm -hmm. It does not get any higher than going that over the top of the dam. That property is low. So, mm -hmm. I don't know where the water's going, but it's there at the dam. I don't know. I can keep chasing Brian and H.E. Callahan. Callahan told me they couldn't do it until next year, but they would give me an estimate, but they haven't even come up to look at it. I would almost estimate. just call Brian Howard back and say, if you can do this for $6,200, just do it. Send you the bill. Yeah, I mean, uh, he, he, well, you should have a contract, but yeah. 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 If we're, uh, He's all licensed and insured. And, right. Yeah. But I'm just saying, Brian's screwing around yeah, with a quote that he doesn't think I'm going to get the money. No. Yeah, right, no, right, tell right, him he's going right. to get it. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm we, saying. Yeah. We need a, a need a contract so you can give him a green light. I believe we need to contact all campbellers. Are they, oh, they, they going to drop the you level maybe, of them? Maybe at the most of public notice. Yeah, I don't but you, you want to check with MMA, see what they think? But I, I can't imagine when they're working on a... Well, I know... If they have to let four feet out, wouldn't you want to know? Well, I, I know that when we lived in Dover on the Piscataquis River, when they used to work on the dam at, at the mill there, they would let us know. Well, um, I don't, is he going to drain it? Is that his thought? I didn't, well, I haven't seen the quote. Oh, okay. I believe so. Yeah, well, that would be different. If he's yeah, going to yeah, drain yeah. it, then you would definitely want to know. Yeah, you don't want to boast it yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was kind of going with your engineering strategy. But <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, would you wait until later in the season? Well, yeah, well, you can't well, wait a whole lot longer. They call, so We're talking another narrow window sometime in early October, so... That it has to be done, right? Rain, you know, we if it freezes empty, that's bad. Yeah. You can't ice fish. My husband will. <laughs> Snowmobile. Yeah, yeah. Snowmobile is bad. Well, you have, you have to be able to, you have to have enough. You have to let the, you have to have enough. Your ice house won't be level. Right. Well, you got to remember all the trout that they stock in there. So yes. you got to give the and pond they, enough they, time to they, recoup. They stock in the fall. Oh, yeah. That's right. You can tell me that. So. They'll stock anyway. What's the scope of the project? Just to replace the plank. Is that a not, not, not the way with the gate. Oh, well, I would have to be he's good. Yeah. Yep. The issue I think is the gate. But yeah. Cool. Um, item eight, town manager's report. Not closed on October twelfth. <laughs> okay, COVID has shut down classes. It will be oh jeez. Everybody will be here. Um, I will be gone the first week of October if that's my annual vacation. Um, oh. On Tuesday, I went out to the Nickerson lot to see the camp where we're having permit issues, or the location, per se. Um, John Cullen from BP came and he looked at it. There is agreement that the retaining wall is at 44 to 45 feet, plus supposed to be at 51. Um, it's about six feet tall. Um, retaining walls are really not supposed to be more than two feet tall. Um, the slab is slightly close. Well, there is no slab yet, but the where the pad of gravel is is slightly too close. Um, but the big question was whether we operate under the old ordinance or the new ordinance. And this gentleman was pushing that we operate under the new ordinance. I was saying, well, I've been told 
by somebody who works with them that you operate under the old ordinance until the new ordinance is approved, except the new ordinance is state regulation, so you operate under whatever is more restrictive. So they're hashing that out now. We will get something in writing that says what we need to do to comply. But we also looked at the lines. Um, could we cancel any further back? It probably could, but then you're still talking a lift, an elevation issue. The new, <laughs> the new um, ordinance says you can't be above 20 in height, and that's from the bottom of your fill to the top of your peak. Um, the old ordinance says you can't raise a building any more than three feet with foundational work. Um, so they think they're just going to go over the whole thing. I think if I think she, she can build it up to a thousand square feet if we go under the new ordinance, if you go under the old ordinance, that camp has already been expanded and so therefore there was no more expansion, lifetime expansion left. If she's going to live in it all summer, she says, I would think they need, she need a free water disposal system. Um, my question is, is is this really just a planning board issue? You know what I'm saying? As far as right well that you know what I keep I keep this, looking at this. Did our planning board make this issue or yeah. this is not our issue. But that should be code No, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. code planning enforcement board. planning board, they're gonna get the DP involved. I'm just I updating. called MMA on this yeah. and this is this not is our this is nothing for you to do. We aren't even discussing this. Okay. I don't have any answers yet anyway, so. No, I, I, was, I was not clear as to what our role should be, mm -hmm. but I'm more clear now as to what our role should be after talking to MMA. Okay. So what is the town manager's role? Very much like ours. Just, you want me to stay out of it until we need a lawyer? Well, you know, okay. that's... No, I don't, I... If, if, if the planning board uh, feels they need an attorney, then they're going to go through you to, to do that. Yes. Um, if, if the role of the select board would be purely like a disciplinary scenario, mm -hmm. like if, you had, if you thought you had somebody who was doing something unethical, then the planning board would have to, or that individual from the planning board would have to answer to the select board. But in terms of this is too close, that's too high, you voted this way, that's none of our concern. Okay. There's an appeals board for those issues, uh, and it's open to any citizen. So in that role, any one of us could appeal a decision that they made, but the board doesn't do that. Um, you could, if you really thought that the mistake had been made. Well, if we thought uh, uh, something had been done in terms of... Uh, if you it was unethical, it's, it's or, or, or they well, broke a law. Uh, but even felt, that, actually, no. <laughs> it all goes well, through appeals. Uh, this, in other words, the planning system has all of its own checks and balances built in by state statute. And, and we're not over it. And we're not part of that. We appoint. Now, one thing that's very important for us to maybe, I'm not saying we haven't done this in the past, but certainly going forward, when, when we appoint people to the planning board, mm -hmm. you might want to give a, a great deal of consideration as to how they might fit into, uh, are they analytical, are they going to do the necessarily the necessary background, all of those things are really important. And maybe, you know, I, I know sometimes we just fill these seats because we right. have vacancies. Right. But now right. that I know a little bit more about it, I, I probably would spend a little more time interviewing perspective. Mm -hmm. But in terms of Gee, I can't believe, you know, why did you do that? Or why didn't you do this? That's not our role. No, no. Um, or yours. Okay. But you can as a citizen. It's just not as a town manager. No, no. <laughs> no, but I want to be even as a citizen. Um, so 
no oversight in terms of their 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 oversight is built in. In other words, if a citizen doesn't agree with something that they've done or questions the way they did it, they can appeal it. Uh, another thing that we you should and they may have already know this, so I'm not assuming that, uh, that Jerry and his team don't already know this, but um, they should never go into executive session without seeking guidance from the town's attorney first. Mm -hmm. And the attorney, the attorney would sign off on as to whether th that was available to them under that circumstance. Virtually everything they discuss should be in a public domain. Okay. I did, there was some question about the way they vote and the way they vote, you could make a rationale for, if, if you've sat on a particular topic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you, somebody new came in, according to the attorney, she said, I could see where, uh, and it was an interesting explanation she gave. Uh, if, if you were a citizen seeking a permit uh, and then another person sits down and, and in, a, in a future meeting, you could argue, well, hold it. They didn't get all the same information and discussion that we had three yeah. meetings ago. So I now object to the fact that this person's voting He's against me. In. Okay, yeah, or yeah, that sort yeah. of thing. And that would be grounds to go to the appeals board okay. for that. Okay. Uh, so uh, anyway, that's that's how all that works. And let's see, one more thing now for uh, Oh, I did, well, another thing I'll mention, because you had mentioned the manuals. Yeah. There is, you're right, it's like 480 pages. Um, as I suspected, because we are paying members of MMA, mm -hmm. all of those documents are available to us for free mm -hmm. in PDF form. Mm -hmm. And what's really cool about that is it's a searchable PDF. So mm -hmm. if you are curious about voting, you just write voting, and it'll, there's 23 references yeah, yeah. to voting in there, yeah. and you'll click right through them. So I would, you could provide that to every single member, that PDF, and they can look at it on their iPad or their computer, and they can, it was, it was really, and the incompatibility is in there. I just can't remember all about <laughs> it. It is. It is <laughs> so. I have read it. Um, I know what else I wanted to tell you. School board. Um, Dale had brought it up last time. Rebecca Packard is, was on the school board. She has moved. Okay. So we're now too short. We're now too short. And we have four seats or three four. seats? Four, four seats. Four seats. Um, Gilbert is five. We have four. That's based on population or and or matriculation. Um, it's not matriculation. I think it's uh, I think it's back to the original how it was originally set yeah. up, which is kind of interesting because I believe Sangamon's population is about to overtake Gilbert. Yep. Yep. So that may be something that needs yeah. to be revisited or looked at. So. Mm -hmm. So we have two open seats. Yep. So. Important. I would recommend, if we can, that when you click on our website, right in everybody's face, <laughs> very first thing yeah. you see. Yeah. We really Maybe. need to encourage to Facebook too. To yep. Yeah. The right. yeah. And because the the new residents come into town trying to figure out what's going on, and you know they have children sure. in the school district or about to put them in the district, then they you know they can maybe be on the school board or whatever. I really think it works better for people. The majority of the board is non with no kids. Yep. In there. And I think a lot of times it's almost better because that personal side of it yeah, isn't there yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You know they're really yep. trying to look the more the, the bigger picture. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Not saying somebody with kids can't no, do the no, same no, thing. No, 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 I, I, I hear what you're saying. I, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I forgot to mention under road commissioner. Lee Lorgan gave me a call. He wants to put parking spots out in front of um, the building they bought, the old hair salon. Um, he told me the DOT told him to call me because the town needed to decide. I've called the DOT, they're doing a traffic analysis. Um, there's definitely space on that side of the road. I think the DOT owns all of it, actually, but let's see what they come up with. Um, they could probably have spaces in front of the shop, but if, if you have a look, there's space in front of the parking lot, and I think that might block the intersection view when you come down right down a hill road and yeah need to turn. I know it does the other way, even though those parking spots are approved. So that's right. just a heads up. I didn't hear back from 
the DOT yet, but that's something mm -hmm. that is on the, on the agenda. So. Okay. Um, executive session, do you have a request? I do. Um, I make a motion that we go into executive session title one four oh five six A personnel. Second. It's, any further discussion? It's five thirty two and we're going into executive well, session. Probably want to get either tomorrow or Friday. Okay. All right, it uh, is six twenty no, six forty one and we're coming uh, back into session. You got six forty. Or 540. 540. 540. 540. Uh, smoking uh, the night away. <laughs> uh, and we, we're, we're, I make a motion that we come back into session. I'll second that. Um, so we all vote. We're back in session. And we do have an action. Um, and we have a letter um, from our town manager, Bridie Armstrong, um, dated September 15th, 2021. And it is a letter of resignation, which I will read. Um, and then we can take an action on that. Did Mike, after? Yeah, you have, yep, go ahead. Uh, dear Selectman, I am resigning from the position of town manager, road commissioner, and all other appointed titles effective December 31st, 2021. I took on the position of part-time town manager with the understanding that I did not wish to be the road commissioner and the caveat that if the part-time position did not work for me or the town that I would resign. It is with great regret and disappointment that I must admit the part-time position is not working for me. I will stay in my positions until the end of the year and do everything in my power to help with a smooth transition to new management. I've enjoyed my time as town manager. While my tenure has not worked out as I had hoped, I have learned a lot in the past two years and hope that, this is, that it is something I may try again in the future when circumstances in my life are different. Thank you for the opportunity you gave to gave me to try something new. Sincerely, Bridie Armstrong. And I make a motion that we accept uh, Bridie's resignation. Second. Um, I, I think just with further discussion, I just want to thank Bridie for Absolutely. giving us a, a sincere yeah. shot. Yeah. Um, and we... I, there, I think there were plenty of people who tell us, this, you can't do this part-time. And so <laughs> we, we gave it a shot. Right, right. And so We um, did. And I, I also think, you know, having, having two, two jobs, <laughs> you know, it's one thing doing this job part-time. Correct. I, I guess I, could, I would tell you the same thing. Yeah. So one part-time job is, is different. Then when this job required 40 hours, you could do 40 hours. And the next week when it... Right. right. I think it, popping up and you could do 25, you could do 25, but switching to 25 to 30 hour jobs right. doesn't was, always sink. No. no, and they and they need to be um, during business hours. You need yeah to pay yeah. attention to both of them, and it gets right, right complicated. Yeah, and yeah. as you and I mentioned, your other job is a family business, and therefore the the lo loyalty. I mean, not that you are not by any means not loads of the town, but there is a, a oh, sense. Sir. But you can't ignore it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, that, for her, it's, a, it's not a, not a full-time job as far as to say it's 40 plus hours a week, but it's her primary job. Exactly. And it's her exactly. number one job. So. That's right. That's right. Um, so, um, you know, I think, I think it would, so I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, going forward, perhaps it could be a part-time job for someone who isn't doesn't have the yeah, it's um, being pulled in more than one direction. Right, right. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we we have talked about um, you doing some projects for the town. If, if and again, obviously, with a new town manager, we would we would be working. Um, but there are big projects in this town that have never really been done comprehensively and and completely, um, and. That might be a really nice role going forward. Um, somewhere there is our last ad that we ran for when we were seeking a town manager. Yeah, I can find it. it don't, I, we don't need it tonight, but because okay. yeah. we should get yeah. uh, by 
by the end of this month, or maybe next week, we should start. Well, we got a couple other things going on. Maybe we need this. I mean, we do need to schedule a meeting before October so we can get this. Yeah, that's fine with me. Going. Um, whatever you guys want to do with yeah, the workshop absolutely. or official meeting, or actually, it probably ought to be a meeting instead of a workshop because we yep. don't want to do some. Uh, the only conflict at the 29th doesn't work for me. Okay. Uh, I, can, I can do later this week. Uh -huh. I can do whatever works for you guys. I can make it work. Yep. Uh, Next week, I know it's a little rough for me. I got quite a few meetings to stack stacking up. So. Well, we're not too far from October. I know. Yeah. I'm afraid. I don't know. Um, well, do you, maybe we'll, we'll communicate and pick a date in, in the next day or so. Uh, in the meantime, Friday, if you do, if you can't find that, if you send it to us, we'll review it and mm -hmm. collectively update it or whatever we're thinking, and go from there. Um, and I have actually, I have some names of other people, people we had talked to over the mm -hmm. few years, so we might reach decide out. to reach out to them or, and right. see what's. I don't have any idea if anybody's available. But and can it go on the website, MMA site? Yes, it yeah. does go well, on there for free because you know we we'll get the that one. We get um, those two or three that are we've seen from, they, from Utah. <laughs> from Utah and Idaho. Yeah, yeah. They're I'm, like I've perpetual. Moving to I, Maine. I would love to see where he's working. Now. <laughs> I mean, some of these guys. It's oh yeah, and every time we put out the posting, we they yeah. write a letter to us. Yeah. Um, that might even be saved. I'll have to go on there and see if that's. But if I if I remember correctly, I mean, obviously we, you get a lot of hit off MMA, but. That when we put that on Bango Daily online, that was the big win. Yeah. That was the big win. Um, well, and I'm not sure we what didn't I mean. Anybody. No, no, but we, I mean yeah, as far as no, but I mean as far as the number of hits you got. Yeah, no, no question. It definitely went out. It was we got it, more response. It was a better value than the local papers. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which mm -hmm. makes sense. And I know we use Indeed now a lot. I don't know if. Oh, interesting. So. Hmm. Mm. All right. Anything else? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? It's ten minutes to six.